Today on Review This Thing, we are going to show you part two of the best 308 round. A few months ago, we showed you part one of the best 308 round, and you guys have absolutely loved it. We got a lot of comments about other rounds that have shot really well out of each of your 308s. So what I wanted to do was take some of your suggestions, head it out to the stores to try to see what I could find. So these are the rounds that I found so far. Now there is gonna be a part three with some of the more high dollar rounds, but for now, I just wanted to show you how these five rounds stack up. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of factors about the best 308 round. Basically what I'm looking for is how do these rounds group out of my CVA Cascade 308. Just because my Cascade really likes a round doesn't necessarily mean that your particular rifle will. Okay, the first round we're gonna try is the just good old Remington Core Lock. The only ones I could find were the 180 grain. I haven't really shot anything that heavy out of this gun, so I'm interested to see how it does, but we'll see what we can do. We're gonna go bottom right. All right, first shot. Now before I shoot again, my Cascade is sighted in for one particular round. So we're not necessarily looking for how well they shoot toward the center of the target, but basically what kind of groups are we getting? Second shot, one more. So there is the Remington Core Lock. Again, 180 grain, haven't shot anything that heavy. Uh, group doesn't look fantastic. Maybe I'll throw a fourth one down there just to make sure. That one's even a little further off. So, all right, that's four rounds. Let's try the next one. Okay, next up are the Federal Fusion 150 grain. Now, if you saw part one of the best 308 round, you saw that we had some 165 grain bullets that did pretty well. A lot of you mentioned the 150 grain fusions, so I was able to find a box, grabbed it. Let's see how it does. All right, we're gonna go top right. That was a pretty good shot. We'll see how the other two do. Pretty close. Let's get number three. We got two of them touching on that group. It's a pretty good group of those Federal Fusions. Up next are the Fiocchi Field Dynamics 150 grain bullets. I've never shot Fiocchi bullets before, so I'm very interested to see how this gun likes them. Let's check it out. We're gonna go top left. That one shot way left, but again, we're not looking for location, we're looking for groups, so let's see how they do. Pretty close to that one. Let's go with one more. Check out the group. Not a bad group. Like I said, it's not really sided in, but it's actually a pretty good group. All right, so that's our Fiocchi Field Dynamics. Okay, next up are the Hornady American Whitetail. These are actually a 165 grain bullet. We heard a lot of great things about these. A lot of people suggested we try these out. We were able to find a box. Let's do it. Bottom left. Not too shabby. Two more. Was it pretty close? One more. Let's see how the third one 
finishes off the group. It's a pretty close group too. Pretty close group. All right, so there are your Hornady American Whitetail. Okay, the final round of our test are the Norma Soft Point 150 grain. If you watched part one, you saw the Norma Whitetail, and those are pretty doggone impressive. So this is actually the bullet that my CVA Cascade is sighted in with, and this is the bullet that I killed my deer with back in November. So this should be on. Let's see how it goes. Dead center. See, that's the first shot. Two more. It's pretty much dead center. A little close. Close. See if we can touch one. We did. It's just fun. Let's go one more, just for fun. <laughs> These rounds are pretty sweet. Okay, let's go check it out. So we started down here on the bottom right with those Remington Core Lock. Remember, it's a 180 grain bullet. I definitely need to, in the next round, try a 150 grain bullet just to see how it would do. But you can see that we didn't get super great groups with that Remington 180 grain. We came up here with those Federal Fusion 150 grain, and that is quite an impressive group out of those. Very similar to the 165 grain. That gun obviously likes the Federal Fusions also. All right, then we came over here and we shot the Fiocchis. Now remember, it isn't sighted in with that bullet, but you can see that that group right there that's actually a really good group also with those Fiocchi. Then we gave the Hornady American Whitetails a try. You can see they are still not zeroed in, but the group is actually a pretty good group. Then we went with our Normas. I told you that's what the gun is sighted in with, and you can see that that holds pretty true. I went ahead and shot four just because it's fun, and you can see very good group, two of them touching each time. And obviously that little differential, probably me. So basically what we learned today is 180 grain is probably a bit heavy for my CVA Cascade, that 150, 165 grain is kind of its sweet spot. And do keep in mind, you gotta find what round your gun likes. So find what you can find, shoot them all, find the one you like best, do a little research about the bullet dynamics, and then have a really great time shooting and hopefully an even better time hunting. Hey, thanks for watching our round two 308 ammo video. While you're here, do us a big favor, watch round one, watch a ton of other videos. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. If you really like what we do and you haven't, please subscribe to our channel. It really means a lot. And go ahead and follow us on 